What's up, fam? What's up? What's up, Sensei man? Hey, right now I'm getting ready to go and install two TVs, put together a um, a dresser, and also a bed. And that's one of the parts I love to do. That's how I make some money, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta always find different ways. Use your talents to make money. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta charge people a whole lot of money, but you gotta charge them something. All that freebie stuff, no good. My sister's friend just bought a beautiful house down here in Georgia, and uh, she gave me a ring. And I said, yeah, I'll come over. I'll definitely come over and help you out to get some stuff done. Miles, money, muscle, baby. All right, let's get it. All right, so real quick, if you never mounted a TV before, this is what the mount looks like, right? So what we had to do was you find a sense of the wall. You measure from one end of the wall all the way across. You find a midline of the wall. Once you find a midline of the wall, you want to put the brackets on the TV. You put those brackets here. And then you measure, get an idea on how wide the TV is, how high the TV is. In this case, there was a TV here before. So I'll step back to show you guys. There was a TV here before. So what we did was we just got our level, found a, found a beam with the stud finder, made some straight lines, very light lines that you could actually wipe off if you want to. But you never got to worry about wiping off those lines because the TV is going to be in front of the stuff anyway. And then we got everything mounted into this, into the wall. Whenever you got these bolts, you have these bolts in. Don't use a drill to tighten it all the way down. You want to use your ratchet to finish tightening it down. So right now, I use my ratchet, and, and that's going to help me to tighten this down. I don't have to use the machine because the machine, you're going to tighten it too much, and you can crack the wall. Now, right now, this thing is not going anywhere. When I tell you this thing is strong as heck, you can damn near do pull-ups in this. I could put my body down on that, it ain't gonna go nowhere. All right, so now we're gonna put the TV up and see what it does. And we're missing one bolt. Without that one bolt, the TV's still not gonna go nowhere. I promise you. All right, so we got that TV up. So here's one of the things that you guys should learn when you put the TV up, right? Sometimes you can be a, you can be a stickler for it being centered on the wall, but in some cases, you're not gonna get it really, really centered, especially when you have things like, like these trims, like these trims right here. That can be a little tricky. But the beams, they will land in places that's not fully centered. And normally you'd be able to adjust the TV over a little bit. Like this TV, you could adjust when you pull it out and you can do a whole lot with that. But always choose the beams over the center. If you don't have, if you don't wanna use the beams, you can use toggle bolts. But when you use toggle bolts, you have to drill bigger holes inside of the wall. All right, so just make your choices on what you wanna do with that. So this is the TV from a distance. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. So that one is now mounted. We never gotta worry about that TV coming down. So the next job that we did was get this dresser put together. All right, so we put that together, put all the drawers in, put the mirror on, screwed everything on, make sure everything is all nice and solid. Now we're gonna get the bed frame done. Um, the issue with the bed frame is the bed frame, we can't find the screws for it. However, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys when it comes to getting out there and finding your, your hustle, find the things that you like to do and learn how to generate income with that. You don't have to focus just on the job that you have. Your regular everyday job is good, but find other things that you can do to generate income. And I'm hoping that a young man can hear me saying what I'm, what I'm saying that too. This guy over here. Say, say, say what up to the Ride Fit Nation squad. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, find other stuff that you can do to help people in their homes or if you, maybe you're a mechanic, maybe you're, maybe you're a computer specialist and you have skills with softwares or website, web development. This is what I'm gonna tell you guys about the miles, money, muscle idea. The money perspective, it's about just finding things that you can do, you see what I'm saying? And things that you can do well, and if you don't do it that good, Guess what? You will get good as long as you keep on practicing and practicing and practicing. All right, so let's keep it going though. Let's keep it going. All right, so we're on the, the second TV. The second TV is now mounted. It's to right, right over the fireplace. All right, it took a little time because I had to measure based on what the people had. And then we took down the first, the first TV I put up, we took that down and, and used the newer, um, the new TV mount that she bought. So, I'm using this one upstairs, which works perfectly. So now we got the TVs nice and leveled. I'm doing the final uh, pieces and then I'm done. I'm finished. See what I'm telling y'all? So the goal, 
The goal of what I'm telling you guys is this. You just gotta keep on pushing yourself. Mel, yeah, just throw this, just throw this in, the, in, in the bag. You just gotta keep on pushing yourself. Keep on trying new things. Never give up. When times get a little hard for y'all, just remember, it doesn't last forever. It really don't. And sometimes things might feel bad spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and especially financially. When you start to struggle in those areas, it's for you to step away from the problem, and re-look at it again, reanalyze, re-strategize, and uh, you will, you will begin to feel better about yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not done with the video yet. I'll talk to y'all in a few. All right, we ain't done. All right, Riot Fit Nation, thanks a lot for hanging out with me today, man. Great day. I made a quick, uh, you know, I don't overcharge people, so I made a quick 200, got a $20 tip. I put two TVs in. Some people be charging 150, 300, depending on what, you know, the amount of work that, that goes in it. But I don't believe in overcharging nobody. I feel like you keep clients when you take care of your clients the right way. And as long as you're comfortable, with the pricing that you're giving and you're not robbing yourself, I think that's what really balances out in business, right? Sometimes we forget how to charge. And, and, and honestly, a lot of us black people, we are scared of charging people the right cost because we're afraid that we're not gonna get the job. But if you know the value work that you're bringing and you know that you, you're putting time into travel and your tools and all that stuff, I'm telling you right now, hold on, I'm sorry about that. I'm telling you right now, charge your value. But when you try to start knocking people in the head, you're not gonna really get any big money that way because yeah, somebody might pay you in the beginning, but they're not gonna call you back, you know what I'm saying? So there's a balance between everything. So what I did, because she just moved in this house, I know for a fact that she's gonna need a whole lot of things done because she doesn't know how to do any of this stuff. She, if she needs some plumbing done, some electrical work done, she needs to get, you know, some stuff mounted up. She might want to get some shelves put up, a gym set up. You know, she has some curtain rods that she needs to get put up. Guess what? I'm there for her because that's my family. That's my sister's friend. I've known her for years. So I'm going to take care of her and she's very business minded. So that's what I love about her too, right? So you take care of people and they will take care of you. But don't be afraid though. Don't be afraid to get out there. Try some new stuff with your business because that's the only way we're gonna grow. That's the only way, no other way, all right? So thank you guys for hanging out with me a little bit, man, listening to the perspective of the money side of, of things and how we're gonna keep on growing our businesses and not being afraid of expanding because at the end of the day, fear never wins you any battle, all right? I'm out of here, don't forget, let's keep on getting these miles, let's get this money, let's get this muscle, and I'll, I'll see you guys again. Don't forget comments, like, Share, subscribe, peace.